the Malaysian WWE Universe missed you when you uh, left to become a mom. Um, you left as the man, but you came back as uh, Big Time Bex. What is the difference between the man and Big Time Bex? So, um, God, I suppose, uh, I suppose Big Time, Big Time Bex is, uh, she's over the top, man. She's, uh, she's a bit more ridiculous. She's more self-centered, self-obsessed, um, will, will take nefarious means if it means winning. The end always justify the, justifies the means. The man had more integrity um, and, uh, and, and, and was, was straight lace a little bit. Um, you know, she wouldn't take any crap from anybody, certainly not. But um, she she would probably hate big time bets. But that's awesome. all right. Sometimes you have to change everything that you are so that you can become an even better version of yourself. And if that means throwing out my integrity, doing things the wrong way, hell, if it means I'm winning, I don't I don't care. Ruthless. Um, uh, Becky, I mean, uh, whenever my mates ask me. Uh, Uh, about WWE and WWE Superstar, we always reference uh, the iconic moment when you led SmackDown to the invasion of Raw in 2018. I mean, uh, what are your thoughts on that uh, moment specifically? It was a pretty great moment. It was a pretty get- great moment in uh, in wrestling history. And um, some say that that was the moment that it really catapulted into stardom. I'm not sure about that. I think... Um, I think that had happened a long time before that, but I think what happened was um, was it gave an iconic image to match the character and 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 to match the story arc. Yeah, I mean, with all the bloody nose and all, did you really uh, broke your nose? Yes, yeah, the yeah, 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 um, and thankfully it's it's it stayed in the one spot. Um, but <laughs> but uh, I I also think that. You know, it just showed that no matter how bad things got and whether I'm concussed and knocked out on my feet or not, I'm going to keep fighting and uh, and come up winning. And things haven't changed since. Yeah. Uh, Becky, you've won the Royal Rumble. You've won the inaugural SmackDown Women's Championship. Uh, you've become the longest Raw Women's Championship and you haven't lost that belt yet, even when you went away. Um, you've uh, made invented headline, won WrestleMania. So what would be your favorite uh, achievement as a WWE superstar? Uh, gosh, yeah. Um, that's tricky, but I think it, I think it's got to be winning the main event of WrestleMania. Uh, that's been the biggest goal that I have, um, that I've had since as long as I can remember. And um, w- when I was first coming over here after I'd gotten signed, I said to one of my friends, I said, I want a ma- main event WrestleMania. And he said, it's nice to have dreams be realistic. And so um, it, it was so unfathomable to think that women could main event WrestleMania. And then this all happened and the iconic rise happened. And it was unfathomable to think that any other match that year would have main evented WrestleMania. And so that, I think, is my biggest achievement. Yeah, uh, having said that, I don't understand the hype surrounding uh, Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns. You've done it before. Exactly. Title versus title, and you've beat two other ladies for that. So uh, I know that it doesn't matter, but you think it, it's gonna be a big thing uh, uh, for Brock and uh, Reigns? Look, yeah, it's great, great for them, great for them. I'm never gonna get the credit that I deserve until I'm long gone. That's all right. I'll still keep doing my thing. I'll keep being the best. I'll keep raising the bar even higher than they thought I could raise it. Um, but yes, I think. Uh, I think that they'll 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 have a great match, and but unless they they go and give Seth Rollins a match at WrestleMania, hell, it could end up in another heist of the century. Who knows? Yeah, Becky two belts. I need. I think the world needs to run it back. Yes, exactly. Becky yeah. two belts. Becky all belts. I'll jump into that match. I'll take their. I'll take Brock's championship. I'll take Roman Reigns' championship. I'll take freaking. Ronda or Charlotte's championship. I'll take the women's tag team championships. I'll take all the championships. I mean, Becky, every other superstar would love to claim you as their, uh, as their greatest rival. But in your book, who's your greatest rival? Or who that even comes close to become your greatest rival? 
I think uh, I think it's going to go down in history that Charlotte Flair was is mm-hmm. is my greatest rival. I think there was a there's so much um, history there. There was so much love there, and now there's so much animosity there that um, that I think it's one of those things that creates the greatest rivalries in in wrestling history. You look at at, at Sean and Brett, for example, and uh, and 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 they had a similar history. And it's something that um, that it's 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 interesting and it's real and uh, and I think in some ways we can bring out both the best and the worst in each other. I mean, having said that, um, what does WrestleMania 38 means to you personally? What does WrestleMania 38 mean to yep. me? It means cementing my legacy. Nobody's been able to beat me for this for three years. Nobody's going to be able to beat me for this until I retire. So Bianca can try, she's going to fail. And um, you said an eye for an eye, a throat for the throat. Do you really mean it? What's going to happen to uh, Bianca Belair? What do you mean? Do I really mean it? I already showed you. I showed you on Raw two weeks ago. I freaking busted her throat the way she busted my thing was she didn't mean to do this. This was an accident. She didn't mean, and still, you can still hear it in my, in my voice that it's not quite healed. But I came back and I took her out. And so, gosh, oh, maybe we won't even see her at WrestleMania. Maybe we will, but she won't be at 100%. And I like it that way. Becky, thank you very much for being an inspiration. I mean, when my daughters are old enough, the first thing that I'm going to show them from WWE is you, of course. Um, and can we have a shout out from uh, the man for the WWE Universe here in Malaysia? Absolutely. WWE Universe in Malaysia, much love. Thank you for your support. Continue watching. Watch WrestleMania 38 when I whoop Bianca Belair once again.